Hi guys and welcome to the tutorial for creation of a bottle using the revolve tool within SOLIDWORKS. Today in the tutorial we'll be creating the bottle which can be seen here, the lid and the label. We'll then be taking the bottle across into SOLIDWORKS photo view and rendering the bottle and outputting the file as a JPEG that we can use therefore in presentation documentation. Okay, so first off I'm going to minimise down my assembly, I'll close it down. Um, open up SOLIDWORKS first of all guys <clears throat> then I also want you to download the bottle image to your desktop which will be here and we'll create a new folder and call it bottle ok so we'll go new folder bottle ok and I'm going to replace my image within that folder so if I open up the folder you can see my image is now inside ok now that I've done that, I'm ready to go within SOLIDWORKS, so we'll open up SOLIDWORKS, we'll go to File, and we're going to create a new part for the lid, for the bottle itself. So we'll go New, uh, make sure Part selected, and click OK. So right, here we are within our uh, SOLIDWORKS user interface. Now we're ready to insert our image into our SOLIDWORKS file. So how do we do that? We're going to the front view, first of all, and we'll insert a sketch by right-clicking and we'll go sketch. Now in here we can then therefore bring our image in using the sketch picture tool. If you haven't got the sketch picture tool available then right click up here in the space go down to customize at the bottom go up to commands and we'll go down to sketch and here then you can just drag this image across into your sketch ribbon, okay, and it will appear ready to use. Right, next point of call, we'll go, we want to insert our image in, so we we'll go to, this, click on the sketch pitch tool we've just put in. Now I'll go to locate the file, so it's in our bottle file, and we'll click open, okay. Right, so now our bottle has been inserted, and we can green tick. Okay, we want to make sure that this bottle is the correct size. So I know the height of the bottle is 250 millimeters. We're going to say, so I'm going to insert a center line that's 250 millimeters high. So I'll click anywhere, and then I'll add use the smart dimension tool, which is up here, to dimension the center line. Right click to enter 250 millimeters. Press return. Now I can escape out of that double click on the bottle and I will scale it down by eye so that it's roughly there okay and now I want you to drag across so that it's roughly halfway the center line is appearing halfway down the bottle image of the bottle okay so we want this point to be in line here because <clears throat> our bottle won't go all the way up to here the lid will however okay so now once that's drawn I can green tick that so we know that our image is the same size as it would be in real life because I've scaled it up. Okay, now I can green tick OK. Right, I'm going to exit out of the sketch first. And now I'm going to create another sketch in the front plane. So right click front plane and sketch. The reason by doing this is so that I can turn this image here on and off so that it won't interfere at a later date within my SOLIDWORKS file. You'll see that later on in the tutorial. OK, so now we're ready to start drawing what's called the profile of the bottle, which is drawing around the outline of uh, basically tracing the outline of the bottle, which we're then going to revolve using a 3D feature. So first of all, I want to put in all the straight lines on the bottle. So at the top here, we'll have a straight line that makes sure that it's a horizontal and then I'll go down into vertical cross to a horizontal cross to a vertical cross to a horizontal make sure that this lines up like so so you see this dotted line so I'm only doing a rough image at the moment and we'll go down to here roughly and press escape to exit out okay now here goes straight as well so we can insert another line we can use the um, shortcut co uh, key by pressing S to bring up all our sketch um, dimensions and we'll put the line tool in 
So I click mine to cross point down to there. Okay, and press escape. And again for the label area, I'll click S and I'll click on the line tool. Click from point down to point and press escape. And now for the final line that I'm going to input, I press S again, click on the line tool, click on this bottom point and we'll roughly go across to about there. Okay, so we've got all our straight edges inputted in. Now I'm going to use the spline tool which is located up here guys. Remember if you hover over the top of the object you'll be able to see, it'll give you a brief um, description of what the tool does. So I'm going to click spline and we're going to create a spline that will go from that point along here and down to this point here. So if I just click that point there and I'll make sure Like so. Um, then we're going to insert another spline going from this point down to that point. And another spline, click on the spline, it goes from this point just around and down. Okay, I can make this curve. Um, blend into this line by using a relation tool. If I click on the line and hold down the shift key and now click on this line, as we can see over here we can add relations. I want to add equal curvature so this will nicely come down and flatten into this line, this curvature. And the same will go for this line and here. So equal curvature like so. As we can see it will curve around nicely. And again we add equal curvature between here and here, curvature, and equal curvature between here and here. Okay. So we can add a edge. I mean, guys, we don't have to be too accurate here. This is just for demonstration purposes. And now we've done that, we are ready to revolve our feature. So I can exit out the sketch, pressing the exit sketch tool. Make sure, right, okay guys, that we're going to, uh, before we do this, we'll just rename our sketches so we know exactly what they are. So I'll double click on this area here. Yep, and I'll rename that image. And I'll click there. And I'll double click on here. Just one click. And I'll rename that Revolve Profile. It's always good to do this. Um, name the sketches, guys. So therefore, if the sketch is the file is passed on, then the user will know exactly what feature and what sketch does what. Okay, so we can click. Now we can. Uh, this is the reason why we drew both on two different uh, lines. Sorry. Actually, I'm going to leave that on because we need to use this line here as our central axis. So first off, we can go to revolve. We go to the revolve tool up here. And we will click on down here, we'll select revolve path profile. Okay, now in here we want to input our axis of revolution, and that is the center line that we put in first of all. So I want to click on that, and that looks all right. I don't want the team feature on. Okay, so I want the team feature off. Okay. So we've got rebuild errors, that's one reason behind this, is because in our evolve feature we, w we haven't completely closed this, so we need to, if I press the spacebar, go normal to, I need to draw a line basically down from here to here, so if I draw a line going from here to here, now the profile is what's called close to close profile, so we can green tick that, exit sketch, and we'll go to the revolved space, and I'll click on my sketch down in here, revolve profile, okay, and I'll select again my image. Notice the thin feature hasn't ticked, that's because we've got a nice closed area, and I can green tick that, okay. Right, so now I can close my, hide my image, 
now we can see we've got our bottle all ready to go. So now we need to, um, if we look at a bottle in real life, we can we can see it's obviously got a thickness on it. So we've got to apply this, and we do this using the shell tool, which is located up here. So we go to click on the shell feature, and now we will click on thickness one mil. So we input our thickness here. Show preview, okay, and we want in here is going to be the faces to remove so this will mean that this area up here will be fully removed as we'll see and if I green tick that now now we've got a bottle it's got a as we can see it's removed this top face so that's not showing which is perfect that's exactly what happens on our LucasAid bottle that we're using okay right now what we're ready to do is we will just apply the material. Um, first off, actually, we'll save our file. So file, save as, and we'll save that within our bottle folder. So we go to bottle, and I'll save that as the bottle part, and click save. Now, I want you to select bottle up here. We'll go across to our appearances, which are located down here. Click on appearance and we'll go down to plastic, clear plastic, translucent plastic, right click on the option on the um, appearance you want to use and click add appearance to class. Now we can see because I had that selected up there it's applied the translucent plastic to the whole bottle which is perfect, just what I wanted to do. There's one more thing that I've got to remember before I do um, go anywhere, we can save this. I'm going to go back into this Revolve Profile, so if we go across Revolve Profile, Edit Sketch. just want to make sure that the level, this level here, line here, is 85. Okay, so we'll add a dimension to this line. You could have done that at first, so 85, and we'll remember that for when we're creating the... Uh, label so I can exit out that sketch now. Now we can go file and we can save. Right now that the bottle has been created it's time for the second uh, part in the tutorial of creation of the lid. Um, we're going to do this by going into and starting opening a new assembly so we'll close this now and we'll go file new and assembly. Press OK. And once we're in the assembly, we're going to bring our bottle in. First, though, important, go to view and type in origins because we we'll want to be placing the bottle when we bring it in on the origin so that all of our right top and front plane will align properly. So once you've done that, go insert component. and we'll see our bottle open up. Remember that all of the um, items, parts that are open in the background will be able to see in the open document section. So if you are ever creating an assembly, make sure you have all the parts open first. And that just saves you time on having to not browse about for the parts. So there we can see our bottle. And I'm gonna bring it in and click, just as you see, click the uh, origin so that both the origins are aligned. Okay, now we are ready to create our um, lid. So I'm going to go first up to insert components. Before we do this though guys, first we'll save file, save as, save the assembly. Um, in our bottle folder we'll call this lid. Okay, and click save. Right, now we're ready to go. Now we go up to below, click on the arrow below insert components click new part click on the new part now it's asking us to basically select a, a, our first plane that we want to start drawing onto and for this we can draw onto the front plane okay so select front plane now we can see that we're in a sketch and sort of works created a new part here that we'll rename after we've created for started creating the first lid so first off we will go click on spacebar normal to so we've got a face on view and we want to take this line here and use the convert tool to convert this and then I'll take this top line 
and convert that as well. Convert. We'll draw a center line now down the, the center of the uh, lid, like so. Press escape. And just use the trim tool up here. Trim. Make sure power trim's on. And drag over one half of the bottle because of the lid. Because the way that we'll begin at creating this lid is by doing a revolve around this center point here. Okay, so that trim is completed. Now we just need to create a thickness, so we'll offset these two parts. So I'll go to the offset tool and we'll add a offset of two millimeters. And then once it's done, we can click on one of the lines. Make sure select chain is because we both want both of these lines to be offset, and that's okay. We click okay. Right. Now I'm ready to just draw on, draw in all of it so it's an enclosed area. And now we've created the area for revolving our lid. We can exit out the sketch, go to features, select the revolve feature, and select that point there. So, in this point, we obviously want this line to be our revolve. 360 okay and we'll green green tick that because that's all okay now now we've created our lid um we're going to want to open it up as a separate document so we'll go edit component out of that first i'll save clicking on the save button okay right now we we'll go over to lid right click on it and go up to open part and this will open up the part in a separate window you can't see it at the moment we'll go zoom to fit and then the bottle will appear because what we want to be able to do now is add the ribs in. Okay, so again, we'll go into the front plane, right click. But first, actually, before we do this, we want to go File, and we save as, and then we can rename the part as Lid. So File, Save As, and Lid. Save. Okay, so, as I say, we're going to go into the front plane, insert sketch. Click spacebar, normal to. Right. Now I want to select this line here and we will offset this line. Reverse direction in one mil. And green tick that. Okay. And then I'm going to draw a line that's horizontal that goes up to this line here. And then we want to convert this line here. and just draw a line to link up this point and this point press escape and now we'll trim down at the top here so make sure power trim is selected and we'll go across like so add a smart dimension in so bringing this from here to here to two mil because we're going to add a fillet in afterwards okay that looks good to me now we can exit out of the sketch. We're going to now use the revolve cut feature, but in order to do that, we first need to set up an axis, what's called axis. This is in reference geometry. So if we go into reference geometry, click down on axis, and now our selection will be, if we just select this outside face here, it will instantly create an axis down the center, but we will then be able to do our revolve cut around. Okay, so we can green tick that. Now we'll go up to the revolve cut tool, like so, and we'll select our sketch. If you can't see it, you can go down here and select this sketch. Now, as I was talking about in axis revolution, we can now select our axis that we've just created. Right, at the moment it will cut a 360. We don't want this, we only want a segment, so of two, about roughly about two mil. So if we have a look at that, okay, that looks all right to me, but we also want it to be that sketch to be our mid plane, okay? So that when we come to doing a revolve pattern, it will equally dis distribute around this face. Okay, so that looks okay to me now. Green tick. So we've got our cut. Now we're ready to do a circular pattern of that feature. So down up in linear pattern, click on circular pattern. Again, we have to select our axis, so we'll use the same axis there. Around, we want uh, it to revolve around the whole 360 and we'll input 
however many. I mean, for now, it don't have to be that accurate around. So it looks about right. So I'm going to put about 73. Equal, make sure that equal spacing is selected. Features pattern will be our cut revolve. And, okay, I'm ready to create that. There we go. Now we've got a nice revolve pattern <coughs> on our lid. The last point of call for our lid is to add a fillet to the top. And we'll input 2 mil. Just see what that looks like. Okay, looks good. Make sure that full preview is selected. <coughs> and green tick. So there's our lid. We can now go over to appearance. So make sure we've got lid selected. Go down to plastic, high gloss, and at the bottom there should be a yellow high gloss. Right click on that, add appearance part. <clears throat> we'll go file and we'll click save. Now we'll go back into our assembly. Models contained within the assembly have changed. Would you like to rebuild? Yes. And there we can see our lid has been applied to our bottle. Click save. Now that the lid and the bottle are created, we're ready to create our final part of our tutorial in the modelling side of things, is our label. Um, so first off, we need to want to be able to, we need to create a new a new uh, plane that we're then going to create the label on and in order to do this we need to be able to see go down into bottle down to revolve open this up so we sh and cl right click and click show so that we can see this sketch now because I'll be using this point as you can see here to create our uh, reference geometry I'll go across to plane so now we go up to reference geometry click on plane and select top plane and a select a point that point there which is where we want our uh, label to be created okay we can green tick that now now I'm ready right click in there sketch no sorry now we're gonna create a new part so go up to insert component new part then it will ask which plane do we want to, to create our new part on and we'll click plane 2. Now I'm ready to create, start creating the part. Okay, so first off I want to click and select this uh, circle here, click convert. Now we we'll go back down to this circle again and we'll offset. Add a dimension of 0 0.2 in and green tick. Okay, now we've got the profile for our extrude. We can exit out the sketch, go across to features, extrude, select our sketch that we just created in our part three, um, like so. Now we're going to extrude up to this vertex here. So if I go over to below blind, we can select up to vertex and we can click on the point and that will extrude the lid up to that point and we'll green tick okay so that is our label created we can now hide this remote profile hide close this down now last point of call we'll apply a material just apply a plastic to the lid so select the lid we'll go over to appearances again select high gloss and down in high gloss, we want blue polished ABS plastic. Add appearance to part. There we go. Like so. Now we can exit out with the part. There's our bottle. Ready to be taken in for the um, for rendering. But before I do that, I'll open the part up. Open the part. And I will file save as. Okay. And I'll save it as label separately okay in my bottle file save 
Right guys, now that we've completed the assembly of the bottle, we're ready to take it across into Photo View 360 for rendering. Um, this is a simple operation, so we'll save it once again, assembly, and we go out of uh, SolidWorks and across to the Photo View 360 icon, double click to open it up, wait for it to load, and then up in, when, once Photo View 360 is open, we can go up to open part, open file, and select the assembly file, so click there, click open. Then you'll notice that our bottle appears within the uh, view window in 360 with all the materials that we've already applied within solid work so this basically means that we don't have to add any appearances to our model and we're ready to final render the bottle so first off I'm going to change the settings so I'll go settings output the um, resolution 640 by 480 is fine uh, previewing quality and uh, okay so there, that's all fine that's X now I go and I can click on final render and this will create the final render for the bottle. Right, and now the image is being completely rendered. We have to go file, save image as, um, select the JPEG type and name it bottle render, click save. And that concludes the bottle tutorial.